Now to the latest on the drama in North Miami. The city manager voted out by council members last night. Now residents are fighting for answers, demanding to know why. Local sense Glenna Milberg is joining us live with details on this. Glenna. Louis, clearly three of the council members here did not heed the will of their residents, but what's not clear at all is why? Why would they want to get rid of a city manager who, by all accounts, is doing such great things for the city? Well, after all of this for the last three days, we finally get some insight from something that the city manager herself documented. City manager Rasha Kamo felt the love from constituents. From the three commissioners who fired her, not so much. It's all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. Nay. Thank you. We run it like a banana republic. We have no backup plan. I mean, there's been zero transparent reasons why she should be removed. The vice mayor didn't say, neither did the two who voted with her. The mayor wasn't there. Residents point to Camo declining council members' requests for unbudgeted money for them to spend as she righted North Miami's financial decline. Why is she being fired? No one's answering the question. Why? We've learned Camo herself, seeing the writing on the wall, memorialized the signs in this memo. She documented last month her efforts to hold a public works director accountable for failures with a multi-million dollar water project, only to have council members backdoor her to spare him, violating city charter. They got outsiders to intervene, she says, one, a longtime city lobbyist, who claimed to her people thought her actions were racially motivated. To establish Anna Bowie Manuel as interim um, city manager. That interim city manager suddenly named two, raising more questions since Did council you members that? collaborating on that behind the scenes would violate sunshine laws. I've been a public servant for over 20 years and I will be there to serve the public again. So Rasha Kamo, by process, can absolutely request a public hearing on her termination. It sounds like that's exactly what is going to happen. Meanwhile, residents are talking about recalls of the council members and lawsuits. This is not over yet. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in North Miami today, Local 10 News. Well,